Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm Apostle Julius Shadigbe, and I bring you fresh oil this morning. Fresh oil is the anointing of the Holy Spirit for you to live a fresh life. I've got a word for you today, and the word is God has not abandoned you. God has not abandoned you. In John chapter 14, verse 18, the Lord Jesus Christ says, I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Also in the book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5, the Bible says, he said, for he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Verse 6 now says, so that you may say boldly, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. So let me say it again, God has not abandoned you. Hallelujah. So why are you worrying about something that went wrong? Hallelujah. Have you thanked God for the thing that went right? Okay, you are worrying about the thing that went that, that did not go, go right. What about all the ones that have been working fine? Hallelujah. I want you to know that God is not surprised that you made mistakes. God is not surprised that something did not work fine. Hallelujah. In your life, at one time or the other. Or do you think God has abandoned you? No. Hallelujah. I want you to know that he has not abandoned you. Remember the time that he saved you from accident. He saved you one time or the other from accident. Remember the time he brought the right person into your life. Remember how he promoted you when you did not even see it coming. Hallelujah. Definitely there have been times that you are down and discouraged and God made a way for you. I want you to remember that. Remember when God provided for you when you did not even see it happening at all. He provided just to let you know that God has not abandoned you. And the fact that something didn't work out before did not mean that it will not work out again. Hallelujah. God brought you this far. And a bad chapter in your life is not your whole story. Hallelujah. A book has several chapters. The fact that one chapter is not good does not mean that the whole book is, is, is bad. Hallelujah. God is the author and finisher of your faith. He's the author and finisher of your life. And I want you to know that surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why I'm here to speak to you today. Don't give up on your tomorrow because of bad yesterday. Don't give up. God will make all things new for you in the name of Jesus Christ. He has made you to be a warrior, not the one that will be worrying, not warrior, but the one that will, that, that will be a warrior and be victorious, but not the one that will be worrying. That's why I'm here to give an announcement to you that God will usher you into a new season of life. A new season of life is coming to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And if there's any person in your life who is appearing like an angel, but it's a, it's a devil, God will, will expose them. He will expose anyone that looks like an angel in your life, but it's a devil in disguise. In disguise. God will expose them in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power of the Most High God, you will not weep again in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Most High God, you are not going to weep again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, the power that separated Lord from Abraham, it will separate you from failure. You'll be separated from disappointment. You'll be separated from shame. Hallelujah. You'll be separated from untimely death in the name of Jesus. You'll be separated from sickness. Poverty will not have hold upon you in the name of Jesus. Every unprofitable person or people in your life shall be removed in the name of Jesus. Whoever is not profitable in your life, that is, a, you know, is a pain in your flesh. Hallelujah. My God will remove them from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And whoever says your life will not be possible, that is your own case will not be possible this year. Whoever says that your joy will not come this year, such a person will die shamefully in the name of Jesus Christ. You will rise, up, rise above your challenges. You will rise above your equals. Hallelujah. Oh, you are born to be great and you will definitely be great in the name of Jesus Christ. You will rule in the midst of your enemies. Go and prosper today. You will definitely prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God will bless you. It is a great day for you. You will not be involved in accident. You will not die untimely. It shall be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm Apostle Julius Shadigui one more time. And you have received the prophetic word for today. Know that God has not abandoned you. Yesterday might not be good, but I'm here to speak to you that your future will be glorious in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm the senior pastor of Truth Foundation Christian Center. 
And every day, Monday to Friday, we have fresh oil like this. 6.55 a.m. on the dot. Hallelujah. And on Wednesdays, we have divine vaccination, which is Holy Communion service. And on Fridays, is healing and pollution. Until I meet with you again, remain in the atmosphere of freshness of life, and it is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.